So what what would you say has been the most dramatic where you've seen something that was just like, wow, this is just this is dirt or sand or I don't know if anything's going to grow here to being just a complete 180 change of, of wow, you can grow anything here now. What example would you say would be the best example of that uh, most dramatic? Probably the most dramatic one for me was um, working with people up in Montana um, mm -hmm. on grasslands uh, where they were having problems with um, – just getting grass to grow in their mm. fields and they'd overdone it on the inorganic fertilizer there you know if a little bit is good more is better mm. um and well that didn't work too well we better put on more and well that we got a little bit of response it's going in the right direction we better put more on they're fo following the law wrong pathway that's the one that leads straight to yeah hell you're not gonna be able to keep your farm and so we came out with, uh, um, gosh, it was one of those big trucks with the um, liquid carrier so it could remain cool um, and not overheat on the way to the property. And they uh, started spraying um, the, the field and we came along, uh, we went along just in front of them before the truck got there and we took a lot of samples from the field. So we knew that the compaction was probably at about an inch and a half into oh, wow. the soil. Wow. So the root systems were of the the few existing grass plants that were present in that field, um, very, very patchy. Um, when the wind blew, some of their soil went flying downwind. Um, so I was like, get this out here as rapidly as possible because... Um, you're gonna you're losing your topsoil. Um, uh, yeah, it, it does that all the time. Okay. Wow. No wonder you're having problems. Sounds like a dust bowl and situation. Definitely. And so uh, we saw that um, compaction was right there. Um, the plants were um, definitely so showing signs. You know, Mother Nature was trying to tell the grower all kinds of things and just being ignored. You ignore Mother Nature. And she's going to get angry at you. And she's mm. going to get nasty. And he was definitely on that that process. And so applied the um, compost extract to the, to, to the field. Um, and then the, the um, control plot was right next. The other half of the field was the um, control plot. Came back in four weeks. Walked out into the pasture and the, the plants on this, on, in the plus biology side were definitely greener, growing faster. N nothing much happening over with the uh, con conventional system. Mm -hmm. We walk out with our penetrometer, and I was expecting to have, you know, a little bit of improvement. Walked over, pushed, put the um, tester into the ground, and I was I was putting in a lot of effort because I, I just knew that that compaction wasn't going to have gone down that far four feet wow. and I just about landed on my face wow. um, because you know the penetrometer went all the way down four feet just that easy that simple and after a four great. week application mm -hmm. wow. yep so you can get results that fast be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any new soul food web or homesteading content